Hello and welcome to Teacher Rohu Lost Channel. In this video, we are going to work on area and perimeter of a square and a rectangle. An area is considered as the size of a surface which is measured in square units, such as centimeter square, meter square, millimeter square, and so on. In perimeter is the distance around a shape. Distance around a shape. In units of perimeter are the units of length, like centimeter, meter, millimeter, maybe inch, and so on. Any units of length can be used. The same way, any squared units can be used to show area of a shape. Let's now start with the area of a square. The square which is given here is having the sides of 4 cm. Means if this side is 4 cm, then this side is also 4 cm. This side is also 4 cm and the one down here is also 4 cm. The formula that we can use for area is equal to A equals L times W. L is the length of the shape and W is the width. But in the case of I square, we don't have L and W. We name the side of the square as S. So S times S, which can even be written as S squared. S squared. Now we put the value of S here so that we should find the area of this square. So S here is 4 centimeter. So 4 centimeter squared. When we square 4, it means 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared or square centimeter. So the area of the square is 16 centimeter square. To find the perimeter of a shape, we use the formula of P equals L plus W plus L plus W. Here we don't have L and W. So we name it S. We can write S plus S plus S plus S. How many S do we have? One, two, three, four. We can even write four S. Now to find the perimeter of this square, we write four times four centimeter. Four times four is 16. And we have centimeter as the unit of the perimeter. So the perimeter of the square over here is 16 centimeters. We are done with finding the area and perimeter of the square. Let me scroll a bit down to find the area and perimeter of the rectangle. Okay, in this rectangle, the length is 6 cm and the width is 2 cm. We use the same formula we used up. So the area is written as L times W. Here 6 is L and 2 is W. How should we recognize which one is L and which one is W? In a rectangle, the side which is longer is L, which is the length, and the side which is shorter is the W, which is the width. So we put the value of L and W in the formula so that we should find the area of this rectangle. So L equals 6 cm and W equals 2 centimeter. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter square. So the area of the rectangle is equal to 12 centimeter square. The formula for the perimeter is P equals L plus W plus L plus W. 
okay? We can even write, we have two L's and two W's. We can write two times L plus two times W. So two times L is equal to two times six centimeter plus two times W is equal to two times two centimeter. Two times six is 12 centimeter and two times two is four centimeter. So 12 plus four is equal to 16 centimeter. So perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 16 centimeter. We are done finding the area and perimeter of the rectangle as well. Let me scroll a bit down to find the area and perimeter of the complex figure. This is a complex figure. This figure is made of four squares. Made of four squares. The size of the side of each square is three centimeter. Three centimeter. To find the area of this shape, we consider this one as one shape and the one down here as one shape. So if this side is three centimeter, so here this side will be nine centimeter and the one here is also three centimeter. Now to find the area, we will use the formula L times W. L times W. L here is nine centimeter and W is three centimeter. So three times nine is 27 centimeter square. So the area of the rectangle is 27 centimeter square. And the area of this one here, we know that A is equal to S square because this is a square. S is three and we can write three centimeter square. So three times three is nine centimeter squared. To find the area of the whole shape, we can add this area with this area. 27 centimeter squared plus nine centimeter squared. Altogether, it will be 36 centimeter squared. So the area of the complex shape is 36 centimeter squared. To find the perimeter, we don't have to find the surface. We have to find the distance around the shape. So we do not consider this side, this side, and the one inside here. It means we will calculate only the sides which are outside the shape, not the ones which are inside. So P we know is the distance around shape. To find it, we first count the number of sides. So to find the perimeter, we count the number of sides outside the shape, starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. How many sides do we have around the shape? We have 10 sides and each side is equal to three centimeter. So 10 times three will be equal to 30 centimeter. This means the perimeter of the shape here is 30 centimeter. With this, we are done finding the perimeter of the square, the rectangle, and also the complex figure. I hope it makes sense for you and it helps you learn how to find the area and perimeter of a square, rectangle, and any complex figure. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share the video with your friends and classmates. Have a nice time and thank you so much.